Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell so you be notified every time that I upload. So today I wanted to make a video talking about every specialty that you can take a registry for in ultrasound because a lot of times we are caught up in the baby lands and we think that ultrasound is nothing but scanning babies, but it is so much more than that. So first of all, I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about my Patreon. I have a Patreon account called Simply Sonography where we talk all things sonography there is a video every single week dedicated to your success in the sonography field and I'm just growing it and just really trying to provide you guys a, a nice service for people who are interested in sonography where you can go and be educated and just have that community geared towards success in the field and just success in life altogether so if you're interested make sure to go down to the patreon in the link and go ahead and subscribe and join the family um, but yeah let's go ahead and get into the different types of sonography so you guys can see what you're interested in. specialty is going to be abdomen. So basically abdomen is going to be everything in your abdominal cavity. That would include your kidneys, your gallbladder, your pancreas, your vasculature that is also in your abdomen. So like your um, arteries that go to your veins, the arteries and veins that go to your liver and things like that. You're going to be able to scan all of those things. Those are all included in abdomen and some pathology that you might find or some issues or abnormalities that you might find there would be like kidney stones or cysts and could be cancer, could be some tumors and things like that. Um, different things, gallstones, polyps in the gallbladder are some things you could find, but this is basically what um, abdominal would be. So next up we have breast ultrasound. So breast ultrasound is not my favorite because I feel like they all look the same <laughs> but breast ultrasound is what they use usually when they find something on a mammogram or another screening they might go in and look closer at it with ultrasound to see if this is in fact maybe a tumor or something and they will also use ultrasound guided biopsy to get a biopsy to test to see if the tissue is cancerous and what type and things like that. Um, ultrasound is also used in the breast as far as if you have really dense breast tissue and sometimes mammograms don't do the trick and they might need to go in with ultrasound. It's also used for other lumps and bumps that you may find. Um, a lot of times women may have lumps that they feel in their breast and they're just cyst or benign masses and things like that. So this would be your breast ultrasound. Next up we have fetal echo. So fetal echo is actually done in utero while the baby's still cooking and basically what it is is looking at the pathology the physiology, normal cardiac, abnormal cardiac and hemo, dynamics which means like the blood flow throughout the heart it's basically everything concerning the um, fetal heart while in the mom's uterus <laughs> so um, it's gonna include things like any type of abnormalities or maybe you might have a hole in your heart a ventricular issues and AFib and just different things like that I'll be able to check that out and you also do it period um, when you do your normal anatomy scans so fetal echo would include abnormal and normal because you always do a fetal echo um, while as part of the normal process so that is your fetal echo so next is OBGYN you guys know this is my favorite of all times it is all of the pelvic anatomy in a female as well as every trimester of pregnancy so as far as OB OBs every every um, trimester of pregnancy but GYN would be every type of um, just a female pelvic reproductive system anatomy whatever you want to call it but it would be things such as cysts um, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, um, seeing if an IUD is in the right place, you could have some cysts on your ovaries, there's just so many things that you're checking out, um, fibroids and different things like that. So that is your OBGYN. So pediatric is just everything on a smaller scale, pretty much your general all types of ultrasound on a younger child. So things like the head and looking for brain bleeds like that, you have the spine, you have joints. Um, there's just so many different things that you can look at on a child, but basically pediatric is everything, but just on a baby or on a child, you know, up to the age of 17 or 18. So that would be your pediatric. So I'm going to put adult echo and pediatric echo together because basically they're the same thing, same as what fetal echo was. It's just for the different um, age range. So you have your fetal echo, then you have your pediatric, then you have your adult echo. And basically you're looking for the same things, making sure that the heart rhythms and things are normal, making sure there's no AFib or different defects happening or checking on a defect that you already knew was there, um, looking at hemodynamics 
lips making sure that the blood is flowing in the right direction and things like that so basically it's the same thing it's just different age ranges and you're just um, getting used to working with that fetal heart or a pediatric heart or an adult heart and the differences between those but you're looking for the same thing so next up is vascular so vascular is going to be all of your veins and arteries, things such as your carotid that feeds your brain that's in your neck. You have your um, upper venous and arterial. You have your lower venous and arterial in your legs. There are some things like your aorta that runs down the middle of your body um, and your major blood vessels. And those things are gonna be part of vascular. So you're gonna be looking for things such as blood clots, stenosis, um, restriction of some vessels and things like that. Um, places where there's no longer blood flow, uh, maybe some hypertension in some areas, and you might be checking out things like that. Um, they do what we call reflux studies to see if the blood is refluxing back up through the valves and things like that. So these are some things that you're gonna see in vascular. The last specialty you can get registered for is actually musculoskeletal. This is one that I actually was not very familiar with, but apparently you can, and they diagnose things such as sprains and tears, nerve entrapment. Um, just so many different things, tendons, joints, looking at your muscles. And that was something I was actually unaware of, the musculoskeletal portion. I didn't know that they had that. So that is the last one. So those are all of the specialties that I'm aware of in the ultrasound field. If you have any more that you want me to research, make sure to let me know down below. But I hope this gave you guys more information on which one you would like to choose. If you already know which one that you're interested in, tell me down below too so I can make some videos geared towards those. But yeah, see you later guys, bye.